I'm David Boyle, and I've quit alcohol. I'm quitting alcohol. I suppose you're always in the process of quitting. Continual quit. So I think it's day 35. No drink. And last night I had my first dream about drinking. I've had one long break before off the booze and I had a timeline to it. So I said I was going to quit for a year and I'm quitting for 14 months. I was in my mid-20s. I think I was like, how old was I? I was 25 and I or 26, something like that. On the 19th of October which was my grandma's birthday, I quit drinking for a year. I wasn't going to drink until her birthday again, but I ended up drinking 14 months later or 15 or 16, I forget. It's blurry. It's real blurry. So I went that whole period. Still, I think I did I think I did some drugs here and there. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did acid and DMT or something. So during that period, I would have dreams about getting fucking hammered and sometimes I'd wake up and I was like hung over like I'd be shattered in my dreams I'd be like fuck I broke it I broke my promise that I wouldn't drink for a year it would affect me for like the rest of the day and this time I'm hopefully done with drinking forever so there's no time limit on it and I had my first drinking dream last night I don't know exactly where we were, but we are out in the bush somewhere and there was a portable toilet. Everyone was drinking and I went into the toilet and I blacked out and I woke up in my dream. I was sculling a beer and I'd just put it down and I'd just finished it and there was already another beer down there, empty, where I put it next to. So I just sculled two beers and I could taste it in my mouth, and I could feel it coming on, and I was fucking shattered. But I wasn't shattered because I, because I broke the quitting because I was back on the wagon. I was, I was shattered because I was like, I'm gonna have to stop the podcast now. How fucking sad's that? I'm like, I, I promised, if I ever drunk again, I would stop doing the podcast, and I enjoy doing it now. Otherwise, I wouldn't fucking do it because it's annoying and shit and most of these are going to make me look like a fucking knob or if you're listening from other countries a douche bag so that was the first thing i was like fuck i'm gonna have to stop doing the podcast i had this battle with myself i was like i can just lie i can just not tell anyone i had those two beers i mean it's two beers who gives a shit i didn't feel anything i wasn't drunk and i didn't keep drinking I can continue doing the podcast. And then I felt so guilty. I was like, no, none of it's going to ring true. I had two beers. I got to stop the podcast. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Just continue the podcast. And it was a real like moral battle with myself. In the end, I decided to wake up and then realize I didn't even have any drinks. So it was all sweet. So I can continue doing the podcast. And that's good for everyone, isn't it? It also made me realize I really am done with drinking because that was a bad feeling, having those two beers. I was like, fuck. Because the way it was going down before I stopped drinking was I'd have little breaks and every time I started drinking again, it would reset the clock. Like I would go back to zero. Like just say I didn't drink for two weeks or three weeks and then I had a beer and I made progress and then I had a beer. As soon as I had those, a beer or a drink or a gin or whatever, it would take me back three weeks. So it was like one, it was three weeks forward. And then as soon as I drank, it would take me back to zero again. It, like there was just no progress getting made. That was another reason why I had to fucking stop drinking. The drinking was really starting to ramp up. I went on a big trip at the start of the year and I was probably, I was down in, for six weeks, I reckon I probably didn't have less than, let's be conservative and say 15 beers a day. And it was definitely a lot more than that. And that's a day. And that's from waking up to going, passing out every day for six weeks on holiday. So that was a great trip though. But alcohol's accumulative. 
So even if you think you're on top of it, it, it wears you down eventually. You're fucked. That was the dream episode, two beers in my dream. I don't mind getting drunk in my dream. I wonder if there's any consequence to that. Can that be my little sanctuary? So I'm allowed to drink in my dreams. Am I allowed to drink in my dreams? Because it felt real. I could taste those fucking beers in my dream. They were delicious. Right, that's me done for tonight. That's day 35 finished. See you tomorrow.